my god my nose is so red it's so cold outside uh anyway um today's uh today's the day of the oski the big exam um how do i feel i feel ready for it uh for the past couple of days i've been feeling like a myriad of emotions of course i've been feeling scared i've been feeling happy looking forward to it and i've been feeling like oh my god this is it's currently coming uh so yeah um i was just looking at an email that just popped up i'm recording on my phone i'm kind of ready for it i feel like i'm prepared i know everything i need to know to pass in excel the oski um at the oski and um give me a second thirsty So yeah, I'm ready for the Yoski, um, but for exam three, every answer that I got wrong, I knew the like I, I knew the right answer. I selected the right answer, but I went with the second when I second guessed myself. But I wasn't exactly sure about the answers that I got wrong. That's why um, I got them wrong because I wasn't. Like all the all my right answers, I knew exactly like this is the right answer. But the for the, the answers that I got wrong, I kind of knew, but I was like, oh, maybe not, and I wasn't sure. So basically, uh, what else? Um, like I know I can do this. I just have to calm my nerves because as soon as I I start freaking out, I just don't know anything. Like I just I blank out. So I just have to like. I'm going to review, I just have to maintain calm and think thoroughly, read every single word because there are some keywords, sometimes I skip them, I don't know how, but I just skip the keyword and do the wrong thing, remain calm, breathe, read thoroughly, and um, just do this thing, you know, I know I can do this. Yesterday, I was telling everybody that I got a hundred on the OSCE. Um, you know, I was using um, the law of attraction to attract what I want, and I know, like, I can do this. Um, it's not bad at all. So tomorrow, by this time, I should know what I scored on the OSCE, and I'm gonna put my grade right here. Oh, this is awkward, right here. Yeah, this is what I got on the Oski. I'm already excited because I know it's gonna be a good grade. It's gonna be a hundred. <laughs> oh my god, this is so exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna be due for it. I just I got my stuff right here. And I got some PowerPoint presentations that I'm gonna go through. And yeah, I'm gonna kick this Oski's butt. I was looking at this um this meme on on um instagram and it says hey girl you go punch your finals in the face yes i will <laughs> all right bye guys um i'll talk to you guys later and let you guys know how i think the oski went bye i'm back i'm still studying for my exam i realized that i have a couple of things that i wanted to just share with you guys the first thing being um I'm smelling coffee that they're making next door. I had coffee last exam and it made me very like jittery and I couldn't calm myself down as I would normally if I didn't have it. So I learned that. So no coffee, just water today. What else um, did I do wrong? Yeah, I just freaked myself out for no reason and then I couldn't think straight anymore. So I'm not going to do that either. What else did I do wrong? Last exam. Um, I don't know if I can think of it. I'll come right back on here and let you guys know. It's five o'clock. I completed the OSCE and I'm waiting for the results. Hopefully they are good. Hey guys, so um I passed the OSCE, I barely passed it. I am over 
I'm a little disappointed in myself um, because I didn't pass the degree that I expected. Um, I'm very, I'm very scared of what's to come. Um, because I'm just, I'm not in a good place right now. One of the people in my life that I seek support from has been very unsupportive of um, of me lately. It's just every time I contact this person, they just want to like, like they sound very argumentative, very um, defensive, very not even defensive, offensive. Like they're they're just looking to fight with me every time I call or contact them. So therefore, I avoid talking to them because. I'm going through a battle. Dental hygiene school is extremely hard. It's very hard. And for you to be that kind of person to me, and I don't think I deserve it. I've been extremely nice and I've been I've I've tried everything to help you. Like everything like in the past I've given up school because I, I thought something was wrong with you. I thought like you needed my help. And now that I'm back in school and I'm trying to get myself together, I'm trying to get my life together. And it just feels like, like I can't get out of school again just because, you know what I mean? I need to get out of, I need to get my own life. I need to get a job. I need to move out and start my own life because I can't stay where I'm at right now because it's very, it's not like I've been living there since I was at the age of 14 years not 14 since I was 11 so it's been it hasn't been the best environment for me so I, I'm trying to get out of there and it's not so basically what I'm trying to say is like I'm going through a struggle and if this semester if next semester is gonna be even harder I just need like I need some support I just like, I need to I don't know what to do. This semester wasn't bad, but next semester is gonna be hard. <sighs> on second thought, on second note, I need to. I also need to like get organized and have better studying method. I need to like organize myself so I could um, excel next semester because. <sighs> Excuse me. I need to do well. I can't I can't afford to not do well.